Hello and welcome to Sand Salon. In today's video, we'll be teaching you on how to style a medium length bob cut with an undercut. First, we divide the hair into four sections. We'll divide the back of the head into two halves from the center. As you see in the video, the hair under the occipital bone will be cut very short. We'll start by cutting the hair under the occipital bone. We'll use a diagonal scissor over comb technique to cut down the hair. Repeat on the other side as well. We will be using the cut hair as a guideline for further steps. Let's continue cutting the lower part of the nape as short as possible and going up with the grain of the hair to give it a little elevation, about 1 or 2 centimeters when we're getting close to the section line. Repeat on the other side. As you see, we'll be doing this on the right side too. Now because this is not a real model with real human hair, these are synthetic fibers in fact, I have to do a little bit of extra work with my scissors to have a little tidy cut, otherwise this won't stand as pretty as real human hair would. Now we should pay attention to the inverse of occipital bone slope as this will be our guideline for the bob and we should be mindful of it. This technique is mutual in all bob cut haircuts. The sectioning is the basis for our technique and it's very important. We take two or three centimeters out of the section with a very mild slope, which will start shaping the bob with it. Pay attention you have to use the exact same comb that I use, which is a white tooth comb. Be careful, it will help you a lot. It will give you best results for sectioning. Okay, now we tilt the model's head 30 degrees forward for the hair to stick to the back of her neck. Now I will use the comb and scissor to establish the guideline and start cutting. Now because this isn't a single length bob, we should follow the angle we established earlier, which is a very mild slope. Some longer bob cuts have higher slopes with different sectioning techniques that we will cover in later videos. Okay, we'll cut the other side the same way. take another two centimeter out of our section and see how the proper technique and comb makes it easier. So pay attention to your comb selection. Now that 
let's repeat that on the other side. Okay, now we'll use the guideline and cut the new layer. Again, we take the comb into the hair along the slope and cut the longer strands. So, we align the comb with the slope and cut along the longer strands with our prior guideline. As you can see, we cut the longer strands. Keep paying attention to the slope. Pay extra attention to the line and how I use my scissors, how my thumb is positioned and how my index finger is riding the scissors basically. Try to emulate my technique as much as you can. Now we try to keep the details as clean as possible. Okay, this is the last takeout from the section in the back of the head. We're almost at the crown. I'm coming it down so I can cut this last layer as well. Yet again, we use the prior layers to guide us. This will be our last section from the back half of our head. Now we take this very clean vertical line from the crown and the sides. The sectioning on this part will be a bit different and we'll use a vertical line to divide them. Okay, now we use the slope that we already established from the back half of the head and we apply it to the front and we use it as a guideline to cut the longer strands. As you can see in the picture. And move it down slowly to cut down those longer strands. Now guys, Please pay attention to the slope, we have to position our hands with regards to it, otherwise it will ruin our haircut. And we repeat all of those steps on this other side as well. We take horizontal sections, use the guidelines and cut away. Now because this mannequin has gone under another haircut, the hair is a little shorter on this side, so we have to improvise a little bit. We go up a bit and we cut it a bit shorter towards the fringe. So we'll get a little nice blend with the fringe. Okay, we open the last section and we start the final touches. If you pay attention to the slope, it has taken a little bit of shape. We just have to tidy up, like these longer strands that you have to tidy up. Now if you pay attention to my hand's position, you see that I'm using a bit of a vertical cut and it's important not to close the scissors completely 
to give off that gradual slope we have. I'm giving some light touches over here on this side as well to give it that little bit of a symmetry. Now a little bit of a shallow point cut so we get the fringes not to stay up too straight. So we can get the bangs to not be too uptight. Now we do some deeper cuts to make the bangs look prettier. still cutting away at the bangs. Pay attention to my hand movement, it's critical not to close the scissors completely. Your hands should move vertically to get the cut perfect. And I play around with the position of my hand to get the best cut possible. Same with the other side to make it look better. Now, if this was real natural hair, it would have stuck to the back of her head. But since this is a mannequin and doesn't have natural hair, the slope isn't as pronounced as it should be. Yeah, it actually looks better on this side. It looks more natural. And done! We hope that you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.